Now you need a powerful mixer, blender if you will, something strong enough for the margaritas. And you need a good powerful food processor. Now, what happens if you're entertaining your old platoon, or you're having a cockfight in your backyard, or you've got an extended family reunion? You need to go a little bit larger and a little bit more power with your mixers. I suggest big bucket, fucking sauces and things like that. And you need a powerful mixer. Something like that. We'll be right back after this important commercial announcement. You will find these and other occasionally useful tips in my new book, Guy's Guide to Domestic Engineering. Now available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. It makes a great gift. Also, follow my blog on my new website, DomesticEngineerGuy.com. Welcome back. We were reviewing the Domestic Engineer Guy's Essential Kitchen Tools. Now, if you're like my bride and I, you love cheese. Now, who cuts the cheese is not as important as how to cut the cheese. For aged cheddar, I recommend a cleaver. For aged gouda, I, re I recommend a hatchet. But don't use this ever if you have an axe to grind. Now, for the really, really tough cheese, The Parmigiano Reggiano, you need something really heavy duty. I recommend a chainsaw. Works every time. Now if your bride is watching you while you're preparing dinner, serve her an appetizer. Serve her a piece of that aged Gouda on a water cracker. This happens to be a water cracker on steroids. And serve it with her favorite cocktail, a Cosmo. Now I love cooking with wine, and now and then I actually even use it in recipes. Important safety tip, try to limit yourself if you're cooking to one glass of wine, even if it holds a bottle of wine. Particularly if you are slicing and chopping and dicing. Finger slivers are salty but not tasty. After all, we are not cannibals. <laughs> Carnivores, maybe. Now, if your wife happens to like these nice little cute grill marks and you don't have a built in kitchen grill like I'm not fortunate to have, you need a blowtorch. Something that'll put the little marks right on them. Another important safety tip be sure, when using the blowtorch, to light it facing away from you. Now, if over the course of the meal preparation and consuming the dinner, you drink this glass of wine, and then you and your bride decide to take in a movie. Another safety tip. Make sure you take along your designated driver. And in closing, in the words of the immortal Julia Childs, the godmother of gastronomy, the goddess of Carmon, and the foodie freak of France, Bon Appetit! Okay, who put the two-buck chuck in here?